Hello again, all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic, and I thank you for joining me again on this lovely day. I need to cover more burden. I have gotten requests from you to check out We the People. So without further ado, here we go. They want me six feet deep, they want me under the dirt, don't wanna let me breathe. They want my mama to hurt, they might know my face, they might know my name, but they don't know my past. They never felt my pain. But they told me about to die. Somebody pray for me. The homies in the sky gon' have to wait for me. I can smell your lies. Watch what you say to me. Cause I done seen a lot of shit that I can never talk about. I don't wanna hurt your feelings. Why you gotta be so fragile? We politicking and you get defended and I look like an asshole. Don't be surprised if you see gunmen post outside of that business. They sick and tired of holding fire and they just trying to end it. So pick a side, you're crucified by everybody's opinions. And keep it peaceful, cause the people around here armed and malicious. Protected by the amendments, I want you all in attendance. When I say that I ain't never backing down with God as my witness. If shit get real, I'll be right there in the field. Never folded and never will. Yeah, everybody better chill. No, it won't be none of that in this little town. This ain't the place you wanna fuck around. Cause shit can happen in the midst of action. Just imagine that people stand their ground. My neighborhood, the one that erased me, a pain in my character. Nothing was good and nothing was fair, but this is America. You get one shot in this life, pretend like you're shooting the damage. Ain't no fucking with me, you can fuck with me, and I'ma have marriage. They want me under the dirt, don't wanna let me breathe. They want my mama to hurt, they might know my face, they might know my name, but they don't know my past. I never felt my pain the fuck they talking I don't about? wanna die Will somebody pray for me The homies in the sky gon' have to wave for me I can smell your lies Watch what you say to me See now, some people who might be on the uh, that side would look at this and think this will never happen to a white guy and this only happens to people of color but Unfortunately, the white guys that this happens to don't get reported on. And that's the problem. So it looks like it's a disparity. It looks like it happens every day. But it's just like, you know, pit bull attacks. You're going to hear about every single one of them. But you're not going to hear about the German Shepherd attacks. You're not going to hear about the attacks by a lab or a golden retriever because that's a narrative that's been pushed and just like all the pit bulls I've owned in my entire life that were never ever vicious towards people this is another unfortunate thing that has happened that is dividing us as a country burden and others are out here trying to dispel this myth and if you talk about it you get hate unless you are going along with that narrative from that side I gon' have to wait for me. I can smell your lies. Watch what you say to me. Cause I done seen a lot of shit that I can never talk about. I'm speaking the truth and you disagree, but what can you do? Here's a message to you, looting ass little broke bitches that I see on the news. Whatever got you thinking you can come and do what you want, well, that ain't the move. Gotta protect what I built on my back. If I'm back in the corner, it's legal to shoot. Hard for you to see the other side. You ain't been a victim. All I want is rights. That ain't protest, that's a mob of riot. People shot dead just the other night. Might be misled, but let it be said You only voting left because they voting right If we all people, then we all equal Gotta come together, ain't no better time Why do we stand, united we fall What have we done? We are the puppets Who are the hands? What are the plans? Who would have thought? Who's seen it coming? Why? Every time I see the police around me I get hella nervous like I'm doing bad If I get profiled, I get pulled over Maybe handcuffed to put a pin in the back But I won't resist You can search me, I insist Yeah, you know that's confidence Play cool cause I ain't got no This exact thing happened to my husband he was profiled and he's a white guy. And this was, I want to say, 14, 15 years ago, maybe even 16 years ago. We had a brand new Nissan 350Z and he was built like a linebacker and he's fully tatted and he was wearing a wife beater, driving along, doing deliveries for our business. And he gets pulled over. I don't even think he was speeding. The cops pull him out of the car, handcuff him, put him in the back of the car and say, 
if you let me search your car, we'll let you go without a ticket. Now, hindsight's 2020. You can absolutely refuse that. And it's usually a good idea to refuse that. But my husband trusted them and he let them search the car. They didn't find anything in our car. They took the cuffs off, let them go, no ticket. But he was handcuffed and put into the back of a police car. No weapons, no drugs. They didn't have probable cause that they could prove. So it happens all the time people are profiled. He was profiled probably because his head was completely bick shaved and he had tons of tattoos. And what do they think that he's just out of jail? I don't know, but it happens to everybody of all colors, but there's only one narrative that's pushed, unfortunately. And so it becomes common knowledge, even if it's false. But I won't resist. You can search me. I insist. Yeah, you know that's confidence. Play cool because I ain't got no time for this. Yeah, then I say buy and wave. And I just drive away. And that's just it, bitch. It wasn't some privilege that I ain't died today. This is great. So he's he's showing the two scenarios here. This could have gone bad. This could have gone this way if I tried to resist arrest, run from the cops, pull a cell phone out of my pocket, and the cop thinks it's a gun, and I get shot. Or... I can just say, yeah, go ahead. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Here's a uh, license registration and you're on your way. And it's no mystery how he would be able to drive away unharmed that day. And I just drive away. And that's just it, bitch. It wasn't some privilege that I ain't died today. My neighborhood, the one that erased me a pain in my character. Nothing was good and nothing was fair, but this is America. You get one shot and it's like, pretend like you're shooting a derringer. Ain't no fucking with me, you can fuck with me. And I don't want to die. Somebody pray for me. The homies in the sky gon' have to wait for me. I can smell your lies. Watch what you say to me. I want to say a lot of shit that I can never talk about. That was so awesome. That little riff in the background. This guy, I don't know why he's not more known. He's so awesome. He's He's got a great delivery. He sings about stuff that matters that we need to hear these days. It's really unfortunate that we feel as Caucasians that we're not allowed to bring any of this up or we're called racist. He brings to light the hypocrisy of it all and it's not privilege. It's called common sense. Don't run from the cops. Don't try and take them on a high-speed chase. I've listened to so much great information about this. Um, Brendan Tatum uh, does some great rundowns and has great information on his website as well um, about the real stories behind people of color who are shot by police. And they try to say that they're unarmed when, if you look back into the actual story of what happened, I think there was only two that were actually unarmed and the rest, it involved some kind of confrontation with police. So don't be a criminal. I think that's probably the takeaway from all of this. Our society would run so much better. There's good cops, there's bad cops. There's good and bad in every profession. I've seen both. My experience is slightly different than somebody who has a rap sheet. But you know what I'm saying. I dig this song. Thank you, Burden. And thank all of you for joining me. And as I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.